Do not buy a ceramic coating before watching this video from the beginning all the way till the end, guys. So what's up? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'll be talking about everything ceramic coating related. What are ceramic coatings? And basically answering a bunch of questions that my viewers have either in the comment section under my YouTube videos or on my social media pages like Instagram and Facebook. So basically what they are, what they do, is it true that you need specialized equipment to apply them? Are they super costly? Uh, are they time consuming to apply? What are the advantages? Uh, is it also true that uh, it's the greatest form of pain protection? Does it also protect against uh, gunshots, against nuclear explosions, against knives, scratches, swirls, all that kind of stuff? We're going to be debunking a lot of myths so you can see this kind of like a master class on ceramic coatings. You're going to learn everything there is to know about them and basically have all the knowledge you need to go out there to enjoy detailing your cars with all the confidence in the world because you're going to get all the critical and important info. So you know the drill. Without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan. Welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day. So let's dig right into it because as I said today, we're talking about ceramic coatings and do not buy a ceramic coating before you watch this entire video from the beginning all the way till the end. A bunch of awesome information. We'll be not only debunking myths, but I also I'm answering a bunch of questions. I have a paper here in front of me that uh, I collected some questions from the internet. So we'll be answering 10 or 11 different questions and and basically you'll understand what ceramic coatings are. More importantly, are they the real deal as far as surface protection goes? Are they obsolete now that things like graphene coatings have been released to the market, right? And what's their place basically in your detailing arsenal? Uh, by the way, don't worry, any products that I'll be talking about today, I'll drop the links as usual in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So just sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Uh, also, if you haven't done so yet and you want to continue to learn more about car detailing, so all the products, the equipment, the tips, tricks and techniques, make sure that you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. And while you're down there, hit the bell icon, that's the notifications icon and you'll be notified every time I upload upload a video to YouTube so you can be the first to watch it. Okay, let's dig into the subject. So what exactly are ceramic coatings? So basically, let's have a look at the uh, traditional shape and form. You've probably seen these all over the internet and uh, especially if you watch my channel, you see these kind of glass bottles. So uh, this one here is from a company called CarPro. It's the uh, Seaquartz UK 3.0. And so it's a form of a paint protection that's made to protect your clear coat against the elements, the sun's UV rays. Uh, what they do is they also add hydrophobic uh, properties to your paintwork. So basically water beading and water sheeting. They have self-cleaning properties. So what that means is that they make your vehicle a lot easier to wash during your maintenance washes. They add slickness, they boost gloss, they enhance the richness and depth of uh, the color on your paint. Uh, so basically you can see this as a, an amazing form of paint protection. But what are they more deeply? Well, basically it's a polymer solution. So as you can tell, let's take a clear bottle here. A ceramic coating, if you look at the product here, is a viscous solution. So basically it's a polymer solution that contains silicon dioxide or also known as silica. Whoa, 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 back that thing up. So what is silicon dioxide or silica or SiO2, all that uh, molecular technology talk. Well, basically guys, silica is pretty much the main component in sand and we use sand to make, yep, you know it, glass. That's why often ceramic coatings are called glass coatings because of the silica components. So that along with other elements in there, once they cure on the surface, they create a, a transparent shell of protection. And you can see this basically as a semi-permanent protection for your clear coat. Because over time, what happens is on top of your base coat, so the primer, you have the color, so that's the paint of your vehicle. And on top sits a clear coat, so that's a thin transparent layer. That's the glossy part that you often see on cars. And inside that layer, which is very, very thin, microns thick only on your paint, by the way, uh, there are some UV inhibitors to prevent the paint from oxidizing and fading over time and helping to protect your overall finish from the elements. 
So as the years go by and you have a daily driven, a driven vehicle, if you don't protect that surface, well, it will eventually diminish and you're gonna lose those UV inhibitors that are in the top part of the clear coat. And this comes from my conversations with Ivan LaCroix. So he's been in the industry for decades and decades and he worked very closely in his time at Optimum Polymer Technologies with Dr. David Gadusi, which was one of the founders or the creators of the modern clear coat on automotive paint. So let's just say he knows a thing or two about clear coats. So over time that has a tendency to diminish so what you want to do to prevent that is to add a protective layer on top of your clear coat to protect against the sun's damaging UV rays, the elements outside there. So it can be uh, tar deposits, it can be uh, bird poo, it can be acid rain, it can be industrial fallout, it can be a uh, brake dust, you can have tree sap as well. So basically any things that will fall on top of your paint and start abrading or degrading that surface. So a paint protection protects against that. Classically, we used to have carnauba waxes, but those typically, because they're organic based, only lasted about two to three months. Then we moved to synthetic paint sealants, so synthetic formulas that bumped that protection up to five or six months. And the evolution or revolution after that, should I say, especially in the last five or six years, were ceramic coatings. They initially started, if my memory serves me well, in uh, South Korea. So those were the originators of ceramic coatings, but now they've been popularized all over the world. And a lot of companies make some. So here on the front, I have four of my favorite ceramic coatings. We'll be talking about them uh, in uh, just a few minutes. So they've come a long, long way, guys. And uh, well, basically the, uh, chemi the chemical structure or formula allows these to cure to a semi-permanent bond. And the advantage of ceramic coatings is not only does it give you more gloss, more slickness, more protection against the elements, they also have insane chemical resistance. So you can throw pretty much everything in the kitchen sink at them and they'll still be present on top of your paint. Uh, and you can see that in my videos, I have a lot of chemical resistance tests. Uh, but what they also do is they now offer multiple years of protection. So you can have ceramic coatings that will last uh, up to two years. And now there's even some models or some uh, brands that come up with ceramic coatings that will last three or up to five years, like this Avalon King Armor Shield 9 that I recently reviewed on my channel, super popular. Uh, you guys actually recommended this one to me. And by the way, I have a, a discount code. So this is gonna be the less expensive one of the bunch and super easy to apply. Probably the easiest ceramic coating I have ever applied. So this is a DIY application, meaning that you guys can buy this and do this at home. And you'll have, of course, the video to support it on my channel. I have the tutorial on the application. So again, all the links will be in the description under the video. So this one, three to five years, you have G Technique, uh, Crystal, Crystal Serum Light, which also is a three to five year coating. And you have something like Gion Mose. This also, by the way, lasts uh, about two years of protection. And you have the, as I presented at the beginning, CarPro Sequartz UK 3.0. So this is another two year coating. So as you can tell, these ceramic coatings last for many, many years. And that awesome chemical resistance makes them a perfect application. If you bring your car through a tunnel wash, uh, those typically the automated car washes have very high pH level soaps and they will break down any regular waxes or paint sealants because those are not strong enough to resist those. And these ceramic coatings typically have all the resistance you need because they'll uh, resist on the pH scale anywhere from pH 3 typically to pH 12. So very broad range of resistance and this makes them an excellent excellent candidate to protect your clear coat that's on your car. And also, like I said, I'll leave the links to these uh, ceramic coatings, which I highly recommend. I'll leave the links in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So a quick roundup uh, in order of my preference, actually. So uh, Gion Mose, you can get this alone or in a kit uh, with its topper skin. So the kit is called Gion Synchro. Then we have uh, Crystal Serum Light from the company G Technique, based out of Europe. Then we have uh, the topper for this, again, is Exo V4. You can get that in a kit as well. And then we have, uh, for tight for first place, we have CarPro Sequartz UK 3.0. That has won so many awards on my channel. Uh, the, um, again, the top code for this is Gliss. So you can get those. And you can get the other top performer, so in first place, tight again for first place, the Avalon King Armor Shield 9. And for this one, I hooked you guys up 
uh, in the last video, if you remember, with that crazy discount of 25 US dollars, roughly 32 bucks Canadian. You can get this, by the way, regardless of which country you live in, they ship pretty much anywhere around the world. Uh, you still get that discount code PAN25 during checkout when you uh, click my link in the description under this video. So you can check this out, you get a crazy discount. So inexpensive, three to five years, crazy gloss, crazy slickness, all the protection you can imagine. But the most important thing, if there's one thing to take away of this one, it is the easiest ceramic coating I ever applied. It was so fun, it was a breeze. By the way, check the video out. I applied this to a BMW. Uh, you're absolutely gonna love it. And there was even the customer's reaction for this in there. He was quite surprised, uh, just as much as I was as well. The uh, next question would be, or a question that often pops up if I look at my trusty sheet here with all your questions, why should I apply a ceramic coating on my car if I can just apply a regular $10 wax? What's the difference? That's a great question. So as I said, typically uh, the Carnuba waxes, which are organic plant-based, right, from the uh, Carnuba plants uh, down in, the, um, in South America, so in Brazil, that's where they're most commonly found. The leaves secrete that on their leaves to protect themselves against the damaging UV rays of the sun. However, the problem with that is the durability is not that great. So although Carnuba waxes have that warm glow that we all love, the finish is very nice and they will protect your vehicle to some extent. Uh, they have a very low flashing time uh, depending on how hot the panel gets. Uh, but basically, they over time, they will evaporate or just degrade and they won't have a lot of chemical resistance. So if you don't use a pH neutral soap, uh, soap or you go to automated car washes, for example, it can break down and you have to reapply often, right? So so every two to three months, if you have a good Carnuba wax, you'll still have to reapply. So it's very tedious to do. There's a lot of maintenance to be done, whether as ceramic coatings, well, they last for years. So that I'd say is one of the major differences. And uh, well, they boost gloss as well. They add some slickness to the paint, just like Carnuba waxes, but it's a different type of slickness. Uh, the hydrophobic properties are second to none. So the water contact angle is much more aggressive than regular waxes or paint sealants. So meaning that the contact of the water on the surface is going to be very, very tight. So you get those nice tight and round beads. So basically the surface repels water, which also helps to repel dirt because the dirt has less of a tendency to stick on the surface. So that's why we say that ceramic coatings have self-cleaning properties. That doesn't mean that your vehicle is going to clean itself. Let's clarify that. What self-cleaning properties mean is basically it makes the vehicle a lot easier to wash during your maintenance washes. And that, believe me, that alone is worth every single penny that you'll be investing. As long as you do a proper job, by the way, to apply these, they should last a long, long time. And I have a tutorial, a uh, very popular one at that, over 4 million views, the most popular ceramic coating tutorial on YouTube. So you can go ahead and check that out. I'll drop the link in the description if you wanna check uh, that video out. And also I have a video on how you do a proper maintenance wash on your ceramic coating, but more on that in a few minutes. Let's move on to the next question. So are ceramic coatings done now that graphene coatings are on the market? Okay, so that's a crazy debate, right? So ceramic coatings have been very popular for the last five to six years, I'd say. And pretty much they've been the best form of paint protection that you can apply to your clear coat. Uh, and so recently there's been a, a new, I'd say, evolution in paint protection. So in the past year, I should say, a lot of companies dove into what is now called graphene coatings. So currently it's not pure graphene, it's a graphene oxide, so a derivative, so different molecular structure, although the backbone is the same. And what it promises is basically the advantages of ceramic coatings, all while having um, none of the caveats of ceramic coatings, which some of these had tendencies to have water spotting issues. So because the water would stay in a, in a bead on top because it's very hydrophobic, well, eventually what happens is the minerals, as those droplets of water evaporate, they get left as deposits on the paintwork and that could cause etching in the paint or water spotting problems. So what ceramic coating companies did is that they came up with toppers to alleviate that and to shed the water a lot quickly. But I'm happy to report that the advantage of ceramic coatings now is that because they've been on the market for so long, the technology has reached a point of maturity and they've become so easy to apply. 
So until you guys made me discover actually the Avalon King Armor Shield 9, this is probably one of the best sheeting ceramic coatings that I have tested, meaning that the water is gonna sheet off the panel super, super quickly. And so you have a lot less water spotting tendencies. Now, none of these ceramic coatings protect 100% against water spotting. So you have to still be on top of your maintenance, meaning you're gonna wash your vehicle often and don't park it next to sprinkler systems. Or if you have very hard water where you live, uh, you're gonna have to take care of that. So wash your vehicle in the shade and dry them quickly. Uh, but the Armor Shield 9 from Avalon King is one of the uh, best sheeting coatings out there, which means the water flees away from the panels super quickly, which makes drying your vehicle a breeze because basically all you need is a leaf blower or car dryer or a very quick uh, move with your um, microfiber drying towel and you'll see just how easy it is to clean. So the um, basically again the graphene coatings they promise to reduce surface temperature by dissipating heat a lot better and eventually when it's pure graphene pure graphene is a single layer of graphene atoms uh, in a honeycomb structure so very very close and tight-knit web of protection but a one atom thick layer we're very far from those days still so we're in the initial offerings from these companies and although they're quite good i have to admit uh for now i've been like awesomely surprised by how uh, graphene oxide coatings have been doing so far. We're still at the beginning of that technology and there's a lot more way to go in the future. Whether as if you're going with a ceramic coating currently, you're buying not only into technology that reached a maturity or a mature point, but you're getting something that has been proven because they've been out for years now. So it's easy to know the durability is proven, right guys? So for graphene coatings, it's still too early to tell if durability claims uh, will be good or valid because nobody has had the time to test them for two, three, four years yet. Whereas all these ceramic coatings have been out on the market for a long time and they last a very, very long time. So that's proven. So big, big plus for ceramic coatings. I still currently have a ceramic coating on my own vehicle, which I absolutely like, by the way. So um, yeah, no, there's no way that ceramic coatings are done. So this brings us to the next question. Can a DIYer or a weekend warrior apply a ceramic coating at home? The answer is absolutely, guys. You should be able to do this at home because now they've, they've made them so easy to apply that you don't need to go see a professional. Yes, there are some pro-grade level coatings out there. More on that in a few questions in a few minutes. Um, but they have evolved so much, which by the way, all four of these that I presented are all DIY coatings, meaning that the public can purchase them and you apply these at home. So once again, uh, we have Gion Mose. So you would apply two layers of this and you can apply a top coat if you get their uh, Gion Synchro. It comes with the skin top coat. Pretty much all ceramic coatings have top coats as well. Then you have the uh, G Technique Crystal Serum Light, a three to five year coating. Only one layer is needed of this. And then you would apply its top coat, which is the uh, G Technique Exo version four. Then you have one of my uh, current favorites. This one here took first place in my car detailing products awards video. This is the CarPro Sequartz UK 3.0, a two year coating. So you would apply the recommended two layers of this and the top coat is CarPro Gliss. And then a newcomer, so this I hadn't tested when my uh, Car Detailing Products Awards video had been released. However, if that was the case today, this would probably be tied in first place with the Sequartz because it's that good. Uh, this, again, as I said, is the easiest ceramic coating I have ever applied. So again, this is the Avalon King Armor Shield 9. Only one coat is required of this. That's it, guys. Uh, and then once curing is done, you're good to go for up to three to five years, depending, of course, always on your mileage. Is it a daily driven vehicle? Is it garage kept? So the durability for all these ceramic coatings, like anything in life, depends on your use, your mileage, and on in the conditions where you live, obviously. So a car that lives in California and is garage kept has a uh, higher chance to reach the maximum durability uh, compared to a car like mine here in Montreal, Canada, with our harsh Canadian winters and the road salt that is applied of course outside so you get my point but uh, these will give you at least a fighting chance to have way better protection than waxes or traditional paint sealants 
Also, because it's that easy to apply, they're now to a point like this Avalon King that you basically spread it on your vehicle. You don't have to worry about flashing times and curing times that much anymore. You wipe off and that's it. If you can apply a wax, you can definitely apply these bad boys. Uh, again, links in the description under the video, but they're pretty, pretty awesome guys. So yes, absolutely, you can do this yourself. Uh, these are all available to the public. And uh, yeah, you have all the support you need through my videos, they're always there. Which leads to the next question, so what's the difference between a professional grade ceramic coating and a consumer grade ceramic coating? Are pro grade coatings always better? Well, that's a good question and I, the answer uh, I would give you, it depends on your needs and of course on your budget. So pro grade coatings, so all these companies typically have the pro versions of their ceramic coatings. Uh, CarPro, for instance, has their CarPro Sequartz Professional or the CarPro Sequartz Finest Reserve. Uh, G-Technique has their Crystal Serum uh, Black or Crystal Serum Ultra, I should say. So that's a seven plus year coating if memory serves me well. Uh, basically, usually the services go upwards from a thousand to a thousand five hundred dollars or more because a lot of labor is uh, involved into getting your car perfect before applying the ceramic coating. So the majority of the work, why you're paying those detailers so much money, by the way, is because a lot of time is needed and manpower and labor to get your paint to a point where it's as good as it can be. So washing the vehicle, decontaminating the surface with iron removers and clay bars to, remo to make sure there's no embedded contamination, then machine polishing the surface to remove any oxidation, uh, swirl marks or scratches. You basically want to make it as pristine as possible, so as close to perfection as you can before sealing that finish in for many years to come, right? That's the logic. So a lot of manual labor means high costs and the pro grade coatings, yes, usually they'll last longer. So upwards of five, six, seven years or more. However, the cost is a lot and you often need specialized equipment in this case, uh, just like infrared curing lamps to cure those coatings or more advanced polishers that are more expensive. Basically anything to make it super high end while well, you're paying for that. So it's normal that there's a cost. So yes, there's a benefit because you're getting more durability and higher performance, but there's a big cost involved, right? So the uh, DIY coatings or the ones available to consumers have been uh, improved to a point now where they're going to last for many, many years, but it's the ease of use, the ease of application and affordability. So all these coatings are presently, if memory serves me right, for a 30 mil bottle under a hundred bucks. So that's like a tenth or a one fifteenth of what you could expect to pay for a pro grade coating. You can do this in the comfort of your own home. And basically now they're almost as simple as applying just a basic layer of wax on your vehicle. So you get your vehicle to your desire of finish. So the bare minimum is at least a wash. Uh, an iron remover to remove the embedded uh, iron contaminants from your clear coat, such as brake dust and industrial fallout. Uh, a clay bar to remove any further embedded contamination that's in your clay, so you're going to make your surface as smooth as possible. Then look at your paintwork. I always recommend at least a light polish to remove any light oxidation, swirls, or scratches, or you can move to a two-step uh, polish. So start with a compound for the deeper scratches and swirls and finish the paint off with a polish step. So that's going to improve the gloss, the, uh, the clarity of your uh, clear coat and also make the surface as true and flat as possible. Then you're going to do an IPA wipe. So that is essential. You want to remove any of those polishing oils or any leftover residue because you want these ceramic coatings to bond directly to virgin clear coat. So never apply a ceramic coating over existing protection, especially not over waxes or paint sealants. That's going to interfere with the ceramic coating bonding to the paint. So that's another question that often uh, it comes up is can I apply a ceramic coating on top of my existing wax and the answer is no You want to make sure that these coatings bond directly to clear coat because you want that bond to be as tight and as durable as possible So they have to bond to well prepped and virgin clear coat um, So yeah, as I said DIY coatings, they're the way to go uh, if you don't have a big budget and uh, the the price is insane again all of these are pretty much under 100 bucks for 30 mils, but one of the less expensive ones and one of the best performing ones is the Avalon King Armor Shield 9. Again, links in the description. With my promo code, you get 25 US dollars off, uh, which I think is like 32 bucks Canadian off. Uh, it ships anywhere around the world as well. So availability of all these guys is pretty simple.
So check them out. Um, and yeah, you can watch videos online. You're going to see uh, other reviews. Don't just take my word for it. You can watch uh, videos on all of these coatings and I'm sure you can make your own mind up. The more information you get, the better the purchase decision. That's one of the points of my uh, videos, by the way, is to give you guys as much information as you can so you can go out there and uh, well buy a product knowing what you're getting into, knowing what to expect also for results and also knowing how to use them. Okay, next question. So is it true that uh, ceramic coatings can resist fire, earthquakes, scratches from knives, nuclear bombs, uh, bullets from uh, a gun, all that kind of stuff? Guys, let's be honest. Ceramic coatings are the best form of paint protection, yes. But there are some things that they just can't protect against. So yes, they increase the hardness of your paint uh, two to three times typically stronger than uh, your traditional clear coat. However, there are still limitations. They will not protect against major scratches or swirl marks. Uh, that, by the way, is false advertisement if some companies talk about that. Uh, they, they will, to a certain extent, protect against micro scratches or micro marring. So the love marks when you're washing your car because there is that layer, but that's pretty much the extent of it. Don't expect to take a key and to key your vehicle and for it to survive because you have a ceramic coating. Uh, that's just not true. And the majority of the serious companies don't claim that either. Um, so that, that's not the point. They're not fireproof. When you see those demos online, there's always the dats. I, I hate that because the serious companies, again, none of these companies do that kind of uh, junk garbage marketing. And unfortunately, there, there are a lot of um, companies out there that use very, very poor marketing and they basically lie to people. So always look to trusted sources um, like these products as well or some detailing YouTubers that you have trust and hopefully you enjoy my videos and thank you for all the trust by the way that you instill in me over these years. I've been detailing for over 23 years now and I still to this day love sharing my passion and knowledge with you guys because the goal is also for you guys to go out there and enjoy detailing your cars, having all the knowledge and confidence that you need to do so. So yeah, they don't protect against all that stuff. Uh, it just prevents things from happening. But what they do protect against is the UV rays, uh, is the tree sap, is the industrial fallout uh, against brake dust as well, much easier to clean, uh, hydrophobic properties, so water beading, water sheeting, self-cleaning properties, meaning the water sheets and beads off a lot easier. So dirt has less of a tendency to stick on the paint. You're going to see with a ceramic coating, even when your car is super dirty, uh, it's it still always glows. You're going to know what I talk about or what I mean if you actually apply a coating. There's something about them. You see that inherent glow that they produce uh, and the gloss and slickness are absolutely insane. So those are things that they actually do. So next question, can you use a clay bar on a ceramic coated car? Another good question. So typically, because ceramic coatings have molecules or the way the atoms are made on the layer are to repel water droplets as much as possible. So you don't want to use a ceramic coating on a, uh, you don't want to use a clay bar, sorry, on a ceramic coated car because you could be damaging that top part. Do never forget that a clay bar is a mild abrasive. So it can damage your ceramic coating and obviously you don't want that. So the way to decontaminate your paintwork when you have a ceramic coated car is to use tar removers and eye removers removers and those by the way are safe to use on ceramic coatings so you can still go ahead and decontaminate just don't use clay bars that's a top tip if you do have to correct some minor scratches again on your ceramic coating uh, there are some polishes not that many though that can do that um, car pro has the essence plus so not the regular essence so essence plus that corrects minor scratches and swirls without damaging your coating. But again, do your research. There are very few of those. So take care and try not to use um, clay bars on your ceramic coated car. So next question, do ceramic coatings have UV protection? Uh, the answer is yes, at least the ones I test and I present, like all of these four bad boys, do have uh, UV inhibitors built in because that's one of their main points is to protect protect against the sun's damaging UV rays. So that layer of protection you're adding on top of your clear coat definitely protects against the UV rays. Uh, next question, I heard that ceramic coatings can generate high spots. Uh, I need to worry about flash times and curing times. Is this true? Is that all too complicated? So yes and no. Ceramic coatings, the way they are, they're part of a liquid, right? If we look at the way it is. So in this liquid, there are some carriers and some solvents made for you to be able, or a transfer solution, to take it from a liquid form, to apply it on your micro suede applicator or microfiber applicator, and to spread it on your paint. Those will eventually evaporate, or flash off as we say, 
So often when it's time to level the coating or to buff off, you know that because when it flashes, it changes to a rainbow effect. So you're going to see a color change on the surface or some effect that you're going to notice something change. So typically 30 seconds to about two minutes, depending on the temperatures and humidity levels that you're working in. But you're looking for that flash time. So when it changes to a rainbow effect, and that tells you that it's time to buff off. Buff off is not the correct term, by the way, because you're using a microfiber towel basically to level the coating. That means you're just spreading it evenly to avoid to have any high spots. So high spots are those darkened spots that you might see. Uh, they look like uh, kind of an oil slick on the water look on your paint. And if that hardens, well, you're going to have to machine polish that off because obviously that's not good. So you want to always take the time to do things right when you apply ceramic coatings. But again, technology has come forward so much now that uh, you don't have to worry as much about uh, flashing times because all of these, again, like I said, you guys introduced me, by the way, to Avalon King Armor Shield 9, and thank you for doing so because uh, it's because of you that I was able to test this. And this basically, you pretty much don't have to worry about flashing times anymore. You apply it, you level it, that's it, good to go. No high spots. So yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, and what else? The curing times. Well, typically ceramic coatings have anywhere from 24 hours to 48 hours of curing. So just don't expose your vehicle to water or rain during that time. And uh, you should be good to go. So again, no worries, especially not with these DIY versions. Super simple to use. By the way, I hope you enjoy this video so far. Uh, if that's the case, smash the thumbs up button to show me your support and drop a comment in the comment section. What is the one thing that you took away so far from the video? I'm curious because I always like to uh, give a lot of information out. So hopefully you guys learn a thing or two. Uh, let's continue on with another question. So I was told that I need to throw away the applicators and microfiber towels used to apply ceramic coatings. Uh, is this true? Why do I need to do that? Uh, yes, that is true. So with the majority of ceramic coatings, so the active ingredients that are in there, once they harden, they create a crystalline structure. So this semi-permanent bond, if you remember at the beginning when we gave the definition, so it's that clear shell that's on top of your vehicle. And those molecules, once they cure, or that means once they dry, well, they can create something that looks like glass shards because of the silica base and other elements in the chemical formula. And those tiny microscopic molecules that harden up inside the fibers of your microfibers or your applicators, well, they're very hard to wash away. So even if you clean your towels, the majority of the time is that they will still stay embedded. So imagine you wash your towel, you think that it's clean, but it's not. There's still a lot of encrusted little particles of shards of glass basically inside those fibers. And imagine running that microfiber on top of your paint again for whatever task you're doing. Well, you run the risk of scratching or damaging your clear coat. So you don't want to do that. So that's why the instructions guys pretty much always say to toss away any microfiber uh, towels that you use to buff off or level the coating. And that includes also the micro suede applicators that you use to apply the ceramic coating. Basically anything that touched that coating has a chance to cure. And if it cures, it leaves those particles that can scratch your paint. So don't take a chance, just throw those away or worst comes to worst, downgrade those towels to uh, secondary use like in engine bays or on exhaust tips or uh, to clean your tires or something that has no impact, but do not use those on your paintwork. So on to the next question, what kind of maintenance does my coating need? That's another question. And there are variations of that, uh, that question. Basically people want to know, is there anything that I absolutely need to do? Uh, at which frequency do I take care of these uh, ceramic coatings? So again, let me give you an, an analogy that was given to me uh, by some professionals in the industry. So basically, uh, you can consider your ceramic coating like a jello, right? So once that jello freezes, there are some beads inside there. So those are the elements such as silica or silicon dioxide, the SiO2 molecules and particles. There's titanium dioxide often too. There's, there's a bunch of elements. So basically you see those, those active ingredients, they're hanging on into the jello. And over time, if you leave a jello uh, sit in your fridge for many, many weeks on end, it will have a tendency to go lower, right? It will reduce. Well, the same thing can happen with ceramic coatings because basically it's a polymer resin, right? That's on top of your clear coat and inside there, there's those active ingredients. So over time, naturally, of course, it will start to degrade slowly but surely and it diminishes. So whether it's through the sun's UV rays, the exposure to the elements, to acid rain, to many washes, uh, to abrasion, to God knows what, right? Uh, when your vehicle is daily driven. 
Well, over time, that diminishes. So what you want to do to prevent that from happening, I'd say roughly every two to three months. So you must have a proper regimen. You go ahead and you replenish that uh, form of protection by boosting with a silica spray sealant. So basically, there are spray sealants uh, that have the same type of base structure in there, so meaning silica or silicon dioxide, SiO2 based. So the same ceramic components or nano ceramic components inside to replenish uh, or to rejuvenate if you want that hydrophobic protection, that slick feel uh, to boost a bit of the gloss and to replenish that layer to make sure that you're keeping your ceramic coating uh, playing for at optimal levels and to actually get the maximum durability you can out of there. So again, once every two to three months, when you're washing your vehicle, uh, once you're done washing and drying, just take a silica spray sealant or SiO2 sealant. Pretty much every company has them, right? Uh, if we look at Gion, they have Gion Cure. So that's their silica spray sealant maintenance. Uh, G Technique, uh, they have their C2 V3. So that's their silica spray sealant. Uh, CarPro, they have Reload for their ceramic coatings. And the uh, cool thing, if you're wondering about uh, Avalon King Armor Shield, well, technically the company says that you don't really need to do anything if you don't want to. There's no maintenance that's absolutely required, um, but you can apply a silica spray sealant. This is a detailing channel, and I know you guys love detailing your cars, so why not give it the maximum chance? Apply a silica spray sealant again once every two months, and it's also gonna restore the properties that you always love and keep that uh, coating looking fresh and performing its best. So you're gonna see the water beating, the water sheeting, the gloss that you all love, that slickness, the hydrophobic properties uh, and all that protection as well. You're gonna give your coating an ultimate chance to survive and to get to the maximum of its durability claims. So I see silica spray sealants for maintenance, uh, kind of like windbreakers, right? On top of your coat is gonna take the big grunt or the big part of the abuse and then your ceramic coating lying underneath, well, it's gonna be pristine and it's gonna last as long as possible. Uh, and by the way, I have a tutorial for that if you want to check that out, uh, how to do a proper maintenance wash on a ceramic coated car. The same steps and same products apply to graphene coatings as well. So you can use SiO2 spray sealants on top of graphene coatings. Again, I'll drop uh, that video link in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So you probably learned a lot. You know everything. This was a master class for ceramic coatings, guys. Uh, again, show me your support. You know how to do it. Smash that thumbs up button. Uh, once again, like I asked before, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, what did you take away from this video? And if you like these discussions, I know you guys love these when I do this. Uh, let me know what future topic do you want me to talk about? What myths do you want me to debunk? Uh, what do you want me to address? Are there any things that you want to learn? Uh, let's have these discussions going because I love car detailing. Um, so yeah, also follow me on my Instagram page. You never know what original content uh, I have planned next. Sometimes I do some giveaways on Instagram as well. I love to give back to my audience, by the way. And if you want to continue to learn more about car detailing, so all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, make sure you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.